Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell coming to you from virtual PTC 21. Joining me today are Chad Rodriguez and Katie O'Hara from Stream Data Centers. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us, Barb. Yeah, and, and welcome everyone to JSC TV. I'd like to start with you, Katie, if, if you don't mind. You know, obviously 2020 was a big year uh, in a lot of ways. You know, a, a lot of things unexpected uh, came about. Uh, can you talk to us about Stream and how you guys managed through this year, what it looked like for you? Yeah, of course. Um, I don't think many of us saw 2020 coming. Uh, it's definitely made us think about our industry a little bit differently and, and how important and integral we are in the whole world. And um, it's allowed everyone to virtually connect throughout the world. Uh, at Stream, we have focused on a lot of our just client relationships uh, this year, as well as building out new markets. So it's it's been an interesting year. <laughs> yeah, it. I mean, to say the least, right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I mean, you know, Chad, if you know, over to you here for a second. Obviously, a lot changed, a lot of unexpected things. Um, but you know, no slowing down for for stream. And I know that while normally we would be, you know, on the ocean front in in Hawaii, mm -hmm. you guys have been spending a lot of time away from the ocean in the desert. <laughs> Can you talk about that with us? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Phoenix. Yes, we have found our beach in the sands of Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Our first phase is now complete with four and a half megawatts of available capacity. It's the first of five 418,000 square foot 40 megawatt data centers. The entire campus sits on 157 acres of land. At full build, the entire campus will support 2 million square feet of data center facility space and 200 megawatts of critical load providing one of the largest multi-tenant campuses in the region. Um, also in Phoenix, kind of to the uh, second part, and, and that was uh, the Cox Partnership. Um, we're ecstatic to, to partner with Cox. Um, they've invested more than 1 billion in Arizona over the last decade, bringing one of the most highly connected networks in the region to our facility. So we're working with additional connectivity partners to do more of the same. We have long haul and Metro fiber routes adjacent to the facility. So it's working with those providers to grow our ecosystem, whether it be traditional carriers, cloud enablement providers, K through 12, E-rate networks, or even fiber niche providers. And Katie, I understand Stream's also made a big splash in the Midwest. Can you tell us about that? What's going on there? Yes. Uh, well, we just finished commissioning um, Chicago 1 and we just announced Chicago 2. So uh, 1925 Bussy, we have 32 megawatts coming online end of 2021. So pretty excited about that new project. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chad, it's been, I can't believe a year since, uh, obviously since last PTC, but also since I was chatting uh, with you and Chris Bear, we talked a little bit about uh, how Stream was beginning to concentrate on energy sourcing and renewable energy for data centers. Is this still a point of focus and, and what developments, if any, can you, can you fill us in on there? Absolutely, it's still very much the case. In fact, we source renewable energy at three of our live facilities, uh, DFW7, Chicago, MN1. We've also assisted in procuring renewable energy for several clients. Uh, one of the largest being an EPA top 30 green power partner in the tech and telecom vertical. So continued uh, focus for, for stream. Hmm. So in addition to all of that and all of the you know, latest developments and updates that you've shared with us, what about 2021 and beyond? You know, what's in store? What's, what can we watch out for, for stream? Uh, anything you can sort of hint at to us or give us a sort of peek behind the curtain, so to speak, what's coming, what's next? Well, if we told you, told you it'd be no fun. Come on. Yeah, I know. Well, exactly. I know you can keep some surprises, but maybe there's a few things you can share. Yeah. Chad, no, anything? Yeah, no, definitely. It's, uh, you know, yes. Um, you know, we've kind of already heard uh, the spoiler alert uh, with Chicago too. Um, but what you'll see from stream is more the same, uh, adding capacity and doing what we've done since 1999. You know, as we talk, 2020 was challenging enough for, for us all. So we want to continue to be the best at what we do well, and that's keeping it simple. It's listening, like we mentioned last year, and it's taking action where action needs to be taken. 
Now, our vision here at Stream is we believe that getting data center space should be a great experience, and it's our mission to proactively invest in great people and great facilities to make that happen. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for, for coming and talking to us and sharing a little bit about what's been happening with Stream. It's, it's so great to see you guys again. I wish we were in person, but we will be Likewise. soon. We will be soon. Yeah. Uh, mm. So thanks so much for your time, Katie and Chad. And thank you viewers for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA podcasts. Happy networking. Thanks, thanks. Barb.